my wife is doing in his house. Yusuf, what she's doing in your house? What are you talking about? What she don't lie. What's up? What she's doing in your father's house. What you he called me a moron. Son, don't ever talk to my son. Don't ever talk to my son. You understand? You have mental issues. I have your apologies on audio and video. You're crazy. Don't talk to my son. You get it? Did I call you crazy? No. You are crazy. Yes, everybody here sees you are crazy. You don't know where your what? wife is? My wife is That's doing your problem. What she's in, doing my in, house. in my house is my wife. I know where my wife is. If you don't know where your wife is, you're not a man. Oof. You're doing? not what a man. In your, in your house? If, if your wife was in my house, why don't you come take her? Oh, oh. oh. Whoa. because he called the police, that's why. Whoa. Let's go. So the question is for Osman. Osman, Ben Farouk, why you married a married wife? Why are you keeping her in your house? Can you give answers? So far, no answers. Why you cannot sit with a mufti and solve this problem? Why you're hiding? So, so I'm a second wife. My husband had a first wife before we got married, and she's from Pakistan. She, uh, she's never worked a day in her life. If I and she's in her late thirties, we have four children together. Alhamdulillah, may Allah bless them. My husband is a sheikh. I can't share who he is, but he is a worldwide known sheikh who does conferences. And there's a couple of women in the chat who know who he is. Him and I were not looking to get married, like at all. Um, there was a guy that was trying to marry me and he gave my current husband my number saying, please call her, call her for me, blah, blah, blah. And he called me. He was like, look, I'm only calling you because this guy won't get off my butt. And we talked for like two hours. We ended up really being fond of each other he told me i'll find a, a husband for you i said okay i'll make sure you approve he said no i'm gonna find a husband for you i said okay <laughs> that's fine and then we ended up getting married uh, about a month after that husband doesn't have two hours and then after, that, after two hours married in one month can you believe that they had a conversation for two hours and <laughs> she's like All right. okay okay yeah, that dude wasn't trying to marry her. He was already her husband. Yeah. And they had a fight and he was trying to get her back. And we know that because um, it was actually Osman who officiated that marriage, you guys. And he did it in Masjid al Rabat in San Diego. We have all this information. They had an Islamic ceremony. Those two people on the right, Abu Adnan and his wife. And then they fell out. Abu Adnan did the mistake of his life by giving a woman's number to a man. So yeah. he, gave, he gave his wife's number to a man thing, saying, let's get together. Let's reconcile. And instead of reconciling, reconciling them, he, 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 he stole the woman in one month. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to find a husband for you. Be right back. Hi. Uh, hey. <laughs> guess, exactly. guess who that husband was. Uh, yeah. That's all, all this. And, and she's like, anything goes. She's like, all right. Like let's do it. Uh, hello, like forget about the fact she's already married, right? And how fast do you jump from one to an, one man to another? It took her one month, so it that for two hours. So that Islamic nikah ceremony was nothing. Remember, she said that they were fond of each other after two hours. How? I don't what know. What did they talk about? I, I don't know, <laughs> but that's what it is. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, let's yeah. continue. Yes, she's telling on herself on a live. By the way, this is all public. Yeah, she told on herself. By the way, yeah. um, thank you guys all for being here. If you guys could, please do like the stream, help us get on the algorithm. Thank you guys so much for your support. All right, here we go. I have any siblings, but if and I'm young, he's 47. My husband is a sheikh, and he's the imam of my masjid. Um, my mother-in-law is staying with me for a little while. Um, and like I said, I'm a second wife. So um, he took my mother-in-law to his house for dinner last night. My husband has a master's in hadith. I graduated from the Islamic University of Islamabad with a master's focused in hadith. My husband has a master's in hadith. Oof. Ooh, so we all know who she's talking about. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see some of these updates, see some of these developments. So you guys know what Abu Adnan did. Yeah. He went to the mosque. He wanted to get some justice, get his rights mm. at the mosque. Yeah, appealing to Muslims, thinking that 
they care about justice. Do you guys think Muslims care about justice or do you think that they care about status? Justice or status? They care about status. Songs of Relief asked, I heard the first husband, Abu Adnan, said he divorced her just prior to that. Yes, he did, but Muslim divorce, the Zaidda period. Which the, is three months. The woman has to wait. There's a waiting period of three months. In those three months, she's still technically his wife, believe it or not. And he has the right to bring her back to the marriage, whether she likes it or not. And he said that he brought her back. And he has voice notes between them um, saying, I'll bring you back. And she said, I don't care. I'm not coming back. So Uthman married her within one month, which is, he didn't even give the three months um, waiting, which is illegal in Islamic law. That's why he said she's still technically his wife. Exactly. Yes, I think his hadith does come from Professor Hagab. I think that that is where he got his actual hadith degree from. I think that you're right. I think that you're right. By the way, we're going to keep checking their website because I'm pretty sure they're going to start updating it and adding on these different like hadith studies. All the things that you see Muhammad Hijab saying he's got degrees in, I'm pretty sure we're going to find those same things listed on his dad's website. I think Adnan will like this verse for jealousy arouses the husband's fury. Well, you're meant to be jealous after your wife. Like, that's one thing that you ought to do. You know, you, you, you shouldn't be cool with her just being with any man, anything that moves. You know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's insane that Muslims are actually shaming him. They're like, oh, what do you, what do you, what do you care? Who cares? She's with, oh, oh she's with Uthman. That's okay. Like, they don't have any shame at all they don't have any honor any integrity at all they just say yeah yeah she's she's with Uthman now and that's okay they don't hold Uthman accountable they don't blame him at all they don't blame the wife at all they're actually going after him they're saying you you because you keep talking about it you're the problem it's terrible yeah yep so yeah good verse thank you yes. all right so he is trying to get justice and let's see how this works out for him why you married my wife i didn't marry your wife what is she now why are you asking me where your wife is? Where is she you now? You should know where your wife is. Where she's now? So you guys, I don't know if you guys can make this out, but this is Abu Anan and Uthman. They're in the mosque. You can't see the video for it, but those are the two voices. If you guys didn't recognize Ibn Ketchup's voice. Yeah, there's only audio because um, Abu Anan recorded it as proof. Yeah. Ooh, the tea is a hot. <laughs> Why you married my wife? I didn't marry your wife. What is she now? Why are you asking me where your wife is? Where is she you now? You should know where your wife is. Where she's now? Whose voice is it? Don't. Whose voice is it? Don't dodge the question. Where's my wife, Osman? Who's, who's Where's my wife? Whose voice is it? Don't worry about it. We have people here. Whose voice is this? It's mine. What are you saying? Where what are you is saying? my wife? What are you saying? Where's my wife? Later on, I discovered she's what, what, at what your house. Things? I discovered my wife is at, at your house. No, I'm not gonna sit down. You have no. You don't I'm not gonna do that. Get out. Why? My wife. What's what's my wife is doing in your house, Osman? Yeah. Why my wife is doing in your house? I'm asking you nicely. I'm not. To stop, guys. My wife is at Osman's house. What she's doing there? Osman Sounds like he's being like handled or something like yeah, that. Yeah, you will hear it. You as can. Well. There's like a little distortion in the microphone. You, it sounds like someone's like pulling on him, and it, they, it, they do. Yeah. Yeah. It's really sad. Okay, that's what it sounds like. All right. I just want to make sure I heard that correctly. Yeah. Is at Osman's house. <laughs> what she's doing there? Osman has my wife in his house. What she's doing there? I'm not gonna sit there. I, 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 I really respect you, brother, brother, but I'm not gonna sit in front of this man. I ask you not to sit down, we can talk. Otherwise, we're gonna be in trouble. We are gonna be in trouble. You know me, I can put anybody in trouble. Right? Please. You apologize already? You guys. It's not an excuse, Osman. It's not an excuse. What she's doing now here in your house? How did you know her number? Osman, how did you know? How did you know her number? How did you know her number? Are you moron? How did you know her number? You gave me her number, which means what? He admitted to talking to her. Oh my. And she said that that conversation is, you know, they hit it off. They became fond of each other. It only took two hours. And then they ended up married. So 
he doesn't realize it, but his story is actually collaborating with, or yeah, it's, it's corresponding to what she's saying, right? Right. So I, I, it's hard when it comes to Muslims because they're allowed to lie. If you guys haven't seen like two streams back, check it out. Muslims are actually allowed to lie and it's actually a sin for them to confess their sins. So it's kind of hard to get the full truth on these matters. So you have to kind of take like peace from this person, peace from that person. But it seems like their stories are lining up on these details unintentionally of course he doesn't want them to line up but that's what it seems like they're doing yep um Osman definitely has her number she said herself that she spoke to him for a couple of hours and became very fond of him and he said right here you yeah. gave me her number you such and such and he told oh. him, yeah, yeah exactly well, how did you know how did you know her number you how did you know her, her number? number you moron you were the one that begged me to call her you if you're gonna keep calling me names i'm out you calling me names? You are a moron. He's calling me. Osman is calling me a moron. I cannot. It's like he's talking to his dad. <laughs> hey, he called me a moron. <laughs> like you guys are both grown. Like they're both like in like they're both like in their forties, like maybe fifties. I don't know. Hey, he's calling me a moron. Like, dude, are you a man? Like, what are you doing? Anyway, I mean, this is uh, yeah, okay. This is this is how Muslims apparently get justice. They just confront each other in the mosque and then they get put into a private it sounds like they're in a private room, private room yeah. and then and they're, they're supposed to just hash it out in the private room and, and then and then it <laughs> always always spills out of that private room into the rest of the mosque baba he called me a moron he, she called me a moron <laughs> <laughs> yep this one you are a moron he's calling me osman is calling me a moron i cannot speak with the chef who's moron what my wife is doing gonna his house you said what she's doing in your house what are you doing? yusuf by the way is osman's son right what my wife is doing in his house, Yusuf. What she's doing in your house? What are you talking about? What she don't lie. What's up? What she's doing in your father's house? He called me a moron. Son, don't ever talk to my son. Don't ever talk to my son. You understand? You have mental issues. I have your apologies in audio, video. You're crazy. Don't talk to my son. You get it? Did I call you crazy? No. You are crazy. Yes, everybody here sees you are crazy. You don't know where your what? wife is. My wife is That's your in problem. What in, my in, house? in my house is my wife. I know where my wife is. If you don't know where your wife is, you're not a man. What you're not what a man. In your, in your house. If if your wife was in my house, why don't you come take her? Oh. 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 <laughs> Whoa. Because he called the police. That's why. Whoa. Wait. Yeah, he know he knows food well. She, he can't come take her. No, no, no. But what he's doing there is. He's actually admitting to it. Wow. He's actually admitting to it. He's like, come hey, take her. come take her. Yo. So that's crazy. First of all, I want to say that Uthman's son, he's like in his like 20s, maybe like mid 20s, well. he right? Well. He's not a little kid, right? He's not like a, he's not, he's not like a, a child. His son is like in his 20s or something like that. Right. So the fact that Uthman, don't talk to my son, don't talk to my son. You act like he's talking to like a little child or something like that. No, this is, he's a grown man. Right. He's saying, why is my wife? in your father's house don't talk to my son don't talk to my... and then he's just like Oof. at the end there come get her come, come get, get her. her then but you guys this is the sheikh this, this is how this is how the sheikh starts it's like a pastor i guess equivalent can you imagine a pastor acting like this anyway it gets worse you guys it gets worse than this it does yeah oh, where your what? wife is, my wife is that's your, your problem what in, my your house. in my house is my wife i know where my wife is if you don't know where your wife is you're not a man what you're not a what man in your, in your house if if your wife was in my house why don't you come take her Oof. be a man oh. you're not you're a woman that's what you are you call me you're, crazy? you're a drummer you're crazy you you're a moron a and a woman you and you're feminine how's what that she's doing in your and house? you're a liar what she's doing in your house what she's doing okay. in your house okay come on, come on. why you why she calls your mother my mother-in-law why she's telling her uh, your, your, her don't touch me guys don't touch me here now i need my rights right now come here i'm come not here. gonna move don't touch me so don't touch what, are, me. what are you what are you doing what is this what are, what's this i thing? want the sharia law to be yeah. done okay. over here okay sharia law what do you want him to the stone him or something uh, the mosque uh, i don't know uh, I think he forgets it's in San Diego. Yeah, you can't just storm somebody's house looking for his wife. Yeah, this is. I want the Sharia applied here. Well, what do you want them to do? You want them to stone him? But I think if they do go, they will find her there in the basement, maybe hiding. Yeah, yeah. I can't, so so first Uthman he was trying to play it cool, but then he got into his emotions because he was protecting his son, right? 
So when he got into his emotions, that's when he was like, oh, come get your wife. Yeah, she's wow. my. So that's why he, he got into his emotions. And actually, he let something out there. Now you can tell they're actually physically pulling them out. Yeah, um, you can probably hear the Muslims shuffling. That's what happens, you guys, in Muslim countries where they want to shut down the freedom of speech. <laughs> it's very Islamic. <laughs> yeah. And you get that in the mosque. If anyone raises the voice and the sheikh is being embarrassed, he's going to be, that person will be manhandled, will be moved away, will be... Hands will be put on him and threats will be given to him. And there's more that where he gets threatened there actually by the Muslims. Why, you, why she calls on, your mother, hey, my mother in law? Why she telling her, uh, your, your, her, don't touch me, guys. Don't touch me. Now I need Come my here. rights right now. Come here. I'm Come not going to move. Don't touch me. So, don't touch what, me. What, are you, what are you doing? What is this? What, what is this? I want the Sharia law to be yeah. done okay. over here. Okay, Sharia law. Bring me your witness. You called me. Bring me your witness. A liar, a crazy, a moron. This is yes. not Islam. That is Islam. And you. He said that is Islam. <laughs> that is Islam. It is Islam. Yeah. yeah. That is Islam. Yeah, that is Islam. You're allowed to insult an Islam. Yeah, Muhammad um, named called people. He said, go bite on your father, so and so. He, he, he said, you know, the worst things that Uthman said. Yeah, about people's idols and gods, their private parts, this and that about them. So, yes, it is Islamic. I agree with that. Um, Uthman was correct. He yeah. was correct. That yeah. is Islamic. And it's also Islamic to steal people's wives. Stay tuned for that. We're going to show you that it is Islamic to steal people's wives. If you just tuned in, this is uh, Abu Adnan on the left, uh, conf uh, confronting Uthman on the right about his wife. His wife is <laughs> has left him and she's in Uthman's house. What's she doing there? Yeah. Um, adultering, I'm thinking. Yeah. Adultery. Um, don't forget to give us a like. Um, spread this this is sort of new recordings that were found on the net by yours truly um believe it or not um on christian channels who capture this stuff that muslims try to hide and put it on out there so god bless you guys for that <laughs> let's go good job good job all right let's go Okay. Over here, okay. Sharia law. Bring me your witness. You called me. Bring me your witness. A liar, a crazy, a moron. This is yes. not Islam. That is Islam. And you consider yourself um, have a master in the degree master in Sharia and Hadith. What kind of Hadith you are following, Osman? Okay, listen to this, everybody. Oh, shut up. Covered. Shut up now. Shut up. Cannot... She took his last name. <laughs> I'll show you, bro. Show, show, show. Just because your wife married somebody else doesn't mean she you married need to you. Be here. You married her. You played with her mind. You didn't you marry her new husband. You call me crazy. Zoom what kind of chef are you? You <laughs> claim that you have a hadith, a master degree in listen, hadith. Listen. What kind of hadith you follow? Listen. I ask you the second time I ask you. Okay. Third no, time. Back to you, yes. Third time no, I will not that. ask you. What she's doing in your house, Osman? She's never been in my house. You're yes. a liar. What do you mean? Why she? Why she call his mother my mother-in-law? Calm please, down. Please, please. Calm down and act like a man. Please. Or you're gonna be dealt with like a man. Please. Calm down. Calm down and act like a man, or you're gonna be dealt with like a man. That doesn't even make any sense. It means they're gonna put hands on. Yeah, them. I know what it means, but it doesn't make any sense. I would even act like a man or you'll be dealt with like a man. It doesn't make sense. You should say, if you're acting like a man, you're going to be dealt with like a man. Like, I don't know. As you guys can tell, like, Othman, he said the same thing to him. You're a woman. You're feminine. Like, this, because you guys know, like, obviously in Islam, <laughs> these are major insults to be called a woman because they believe women are in, inferior in intellect and religion. So it's not just like, if someone's saying like, oh, you're being like a girl or this, it's like more insulting in Islam because women are more degraded in Islam than in like the secular world. Yeah, women in Islam, emotional and irrational, half brain, um, half, crooked rib, <laughs> yeah, crooked rib, half brain, uh, half testimony, just, you know, um, like an animal. Like it's even, it's an even bigger insult than it is in like the secular world. Because they're viewed lower than they are anywhere. I don't know any other religion, any other worldview that views women lower than in Islam, actually. Yep. Okay. Deficient in intellect and um, and in faith, even. She's deficient in faith. Guys, let me know if you can hear me. There's one person that said they can't quite hear me, but just let me know. Okay. How All did right. I wind up with a full brain? I followed the Lord Jesus. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Um
the Lord, I follow the Lord Jesus. And then I got the other half of my brain. And then I realized that's true. When I've, I've had to have a half a brain to follow someone like Muhammad. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for uh, um, the sound check. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna relax. Uh, brother, if somebody buys your wife, what do you wanna do, brother? Yeah, somebody, yeah, brother what, if somebody married your wife, what do you wanna do? Yeah, if I'm At least not this. Okay, At least not this. Okay. There's a whole different okay, thing. I'm gonna be calm. Listen, the questions Listen you're asking is really ridiculous. Okay. You're supposed to be asking brother, what do you want, questions. What do you want? What's the end goal here? Okay, what is it okay. okay. brothers and sisters, brothers, please. Brothers, you just wanna get attention, that's all it is. Yeah, yeah, that's all it is. Yeah. She never left in my house. Well, she is renting the house. Renting from my mother. Perfect. Not my house. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, he's making more admissions. So she is in his house. Ah, no, no. He said he rented from my mother, not my house. So he's actually making admissions. Okay, you're on to something. But it wasn't my house. It was my mother's house. <laughs> ah, okay. Okay. <laughs> so he's making these admissions. Yeah, so now we quote the Arabic, which means, you know, don't give me that stupidity, basically. Yeah. Um. Yep. Yeah, no stupidity. Yeah, no, no stupidity. stupidity. It is very stupid, the whole thing. But, yeah. yeah. So he's making these admissions now, just yeah. like he said before, come get her. Now he's saying, okay, it was my mother's house. So he's making these admissions. So she is there. Oh, What's okay. she doing in your mother's house, though? That's the question. You think mothers in Islam have no standing? Your mother's house is your house. Like, you will, you walk into it. Why would an elderly woman have someone, in, some lady who happens to know him in her house? Yeah, and not only that, but in Islam, he's saying it's my mother's house, which means that it's not his father's house, right? Mm. So, in other words, he's the one that's like the guardian over his mother. Right. So, it's his house. He's the guardian. Unless his dad is still alive. No, he said it's my mother's house. Oh, so his dad is not alive. Otherwise, he would have set up my father's house. Either his dad is not alive or his parents are divorced. Like, that. it's one of the two. Because ah. you don't, he wouldn't call it his, his mother's house. It, no, it's just in the culture. It, you wouldn't say my mother's house. You say my father's oh, house. Unless or... the father is. Yeah, dead. yeah. That's very good. I didn't catch yeah. that. You see? So his mother's widowed or alone, and she's. Why would you have a random young woman at your mother's house if she's there by herself? Yeah, yeah. Huh? And that woman happened to be a runaway, <laughs> a runaway wife <laughs> of your friend who you married yourself. Like uh. you officiated the marriage. Of course, she's not there to just chill out. What does she have in common with them? Is she? What does she have in common with the old woman? Is she, you know, is she a roommate with the old woman that happens to be Othman's mother? Hmm. Let's see. Okay. We just want to get attention. That's all it is. Yeah, 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 That's yeah, yeah. all it is. Yeah. She never lived in my house. Well, she is renting from perfect, my mother, perfect, perfect, not my house. Perfect. 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 <laughs> Can you show me or provide receipts? Sure, renting. No problem. Oh, okay, guys. Do you see how high his voice goes? No, no, that is exactly exactly what he said to God Logic when he said to him, Show me where the multiple messiahs. And I'm gonna I'm gonna get that up because that yeah, is his voice goes high there. Too. Literally the exactly the same Say, okay. pitch in his voice. We'll get we'll get you some books. <laughs> Come back, we'll get you some books. <laughs> it was the exact it was the exact pitch, high high exact, note. Yeah. Um there. Okay, so I want to show you guys uh, here one more time, and then I want to show you guys this one with God Logic because oh, it's yeah. literally the same voice. Watch. Kalas, my bad. Kalas, my bad. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to get his uh, pitch. Watch. Ready? Okay. Okay, let's hear that. Listen one. to the no problem, except you, you could say it. Yeah, and let it. Let in, you say Kalas, my bad. No, 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 no problem. No problem. Yeah, okay. no, no problem. problem. Hey, watch this. Perfect. 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 Can you show me or provide receipts? Sure, anything. No problem. No problem. Let, let it go a little more. And <laughs> you show me. Okay. Oh, I'll go get them. Yalla. I was asking you for five months Listen, for receipts. I told you already. You're a liar. Again, you're lying. Sure. I told you on the phone. His, his Did voice you see how high it is? No yeah. problem. Okay, ready? <laughs> One more time. No problem. No problem. Perfect. Can you show me or provide receipts? Sure, anything. No problem. Okay, no problem. Now watch this now. Exactly <laughs> what he said to God Logic. Exactly, you said to God logic. <laughs> oh, you look nervous, bro. Relax, man. No, I got no, you. you. you look look, do I look nervous you or was everyone shaking right now? Yeah, All right. So, this. oh, we are. We are. No, no, no. That's not it. Oh, sorry, guys. I, I, thought I, I thought I had the clip ready. The first one. I thought I had the clip ready. Uh, okay, it's probably on another channel. All right. All right I'll right. remind you guys. Okay. No problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I really thought that was it. Uh, okay. 
no, it's the the first. It's not this way. Um, oh, actually, oh, he might oh, say it here. Actually. Oh. Okay, so let me just check. Okay, this might be it. We we might still we might still be on the same video here. Uh, let's see. As a part of the hadith, if they say that no, this is a print error, then no problem. See, you hear that? You hear that? <laughs> it's the same exact pitch. No problem. <laughs> watch, watch this, watch this. <laughs> ready? Uh, ready? Ready? I'm ready. Part of the hadith, if they say that no, this is a print error, then no problem. We can no, why? No <laughs> and then look, and then look. Oh, the my. same exact voice, right? Here. It's like a lie detector with yeah. his voice. Well, can you show me or provide receipts? Sure, I'm thinking, no problem. The same voice. It's like a, it's, a, it's as if we edited it from one video to this video, but we didn't. But that's exactly it's like the same pitch, uh. the same tone, and everything. This guy, this would be like his tell in poker or something like that. Like Oh. He has a terrible <laughs> poker pitch. Yeah. Like, uh, do you have two aces? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, so that's his tell. That's how you know he's lying. So does he have receipts, guys? No. No just problem. Like... <laughs> if he had receipts, he would have showed it. Just honest. like that footnote was a footnote, and he says, "No problem." I can't do it. Sorry, yeah. but just like he said, that... you can't do it because you don't have a lady's voice <laughs> that can go high. Okay, so <laughs> so there you go. No problem, right? Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. So, so what do we? So, what, what do we conclude from this? That he's lying. He doesn't have receipts. Yeah, the woman is there, and we know how she's paying, and it's not with money. Exactly. So he admitted that she's living there, and then when he said, "Okay, show me receipts," oh, she doesn't have receipts. Okay, so all right. yeah, if there are receipts, they don't ever appear. Yeah. Yes, continue. Okay, let's go. All right, yeah, let's go. <laughs> I'll go get them. Yalla. I was asking for five months for receipts. I told you already. You see how high he's going? I told you already. I'll go get them. Say, I'll go get them again. Rewind again. Sure, I'll go get them. No problem. You're sure. I'll go get them. Yalla. I was asking for five months for receipts. I told you already. You're a liar again. <laughs> Man, that's his tell. His voice uh, goes to that. What do you call it? like the the, up, the high, up, the high, the the high level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Any the pitch just rises. Any up. musicians? What's that high thing? Yeah, it just it goes to like a high note, whatever that is. Yeah. But yeah, so there you go, guys. He's definitely lying. <laughs> the falsetto, yeah. Yeah, falsetto, yeah. The receipt, the receipt will arrive in the high octave. High octave, yeah. That's the word I was looking for. Soprano, yeah. yeah. He soprano. goes proper soprano. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get it. Wow. <laughs> it's like uh, that. So, so there you go. Yeah. All right. Yalla, I was asking you for five months listen, for the seats. I told you already. You're a liar. Again, you're lying. Show I told you on the phone. Right, listen, me. listen. What's she still okay. in your house? Okay. Come on. Come on. Why you? Why she calls on, your yeah. mother, hey. my mother-in-law? Oh my. Why she's telling her uh, your, your your her? Yalla, don't touch me, guys. Listen. Don't touch me. Yeah. Yeah. Now listen. I need Come my here. rights right now. Come here. I'm Come not here. gonna move. Here. Don't touch me. So, uh, don't touch me. Oof. all right they took him out guys they took him out of the mosque and not only that but didn't they call the police on him as well we have all the receipts they called the police on him as well guys can they... you guys believe that um, i believe it ah uh, it happened all right let's go let's go Abravnan was forced i went to confront him i went to san diego and then he called the police on me he forbid me from entering the mosque you're allowed to be here? I'm not allowed to be here? Yes. Why? Because the one who organized that event said you're not allowed to be here. Why? So I am a Muslim. I don't care. I don't care. The one who's in charge of that event, he said you're not allowed to be here. I don't want to call the cops or anything. Call them. I, I was told I was not allowed to do the prayer. I want to do Eid, Salat, with the Ummah of Islam. <laughs> they said I'm not allowed to pray. Who hmm? Over there, the guy. It's okay to do salat here. But please do it I am not. Talk? I yeah. will not. Okay, yes, that's fine. But do not go to people and talk about. By the way, guys, I know this is going to sound a little wild, a little crazy, but look at their attire and look at the shoes that they wear. You see how they kind of match, they go together. I know it sounds crazy, but it's going to come into play later on. Yeah, we, so, we, we have to notice everything, you, you guys. You, you have to notice the clothes that they wear and the shoes that they wear, okay? Just, I know, like, it sounds wild, but keep 
Just keep with us. If trust you, trust if, me on it. If trust you're me. in this business of fighting Islam, you have to have keep your eyes open on everything. 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 But anyway, um, the, he was saying, don't talk bad about him. You, you can pray. So this is Aid prayer. So Aid is, I don't, I'm not sure which Aid. It might have been after Ramadan or there's a second Aid, you know, Aid al-Adha. And yeah, he was barred from the mosque. So you're meant to pray in congregation with the rest of the Muslims in Aid. Don't pray on your own. And he wasn't allowed. I like how you guys think the the yellow and black shoes, like from the Shia. Um, that's the good, yeah. good, good. You have a good, um, good knowledge. Yeah, good knowledge. How but, do you guys know that? Yeah, that's good. But but keep just just keep your eyes on that and watch watch this. Ready? Yeah, let's go. How do you know? Does it conflict? I will not. I'll do salat. I'm here to do salat. I'm not okay, doing sure. anything. As long as you're good, we're good. Oh, talk English, please. Okay, the one in charge of the event. She want to talk to you. She's over there. He's not. He's not. He's not. He's not gonna be here. Okay, guys. Hey, can we talk there, please? Mm. No, I want you to go with me, guys. Please, I'm a Muslim. Please yes, right protect up. a Muslim. That's good. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Oh well, speaking of now, you guys got me looking at the colors. I wasn't thinking about that, but this guy's he's got both both covered. He's like, I can't feel, oh, I can't decide on black or yellow, so I'm gonna just do bloat. He shouldn't got he shouldn't have yellow, <laughs> even though it's only a little bit. <laughs> but here, they should not be here. They don't invite them. Uh, so the department, so they just said that you're not welcome at the. Oh, so the police came. Uh, the police, police came. A police woman of all. Uh, How insulting to the Muslim man the, that a woman came. Mm -hmm. Um, for them. Okay. And I'm just trying to. Like, mm -hmm. And they should not be here. They don't invite them. So the city police department. So they just said that you're not welcome at the mosque. Mm -hmm. Um, for them. Okay. And I'm just trying to. Like, um, okay. Yeah. Um, Do you have your ID on you by chance? Uh, no, I don't have it. Here. Okay. What's your name? I will not come here. Okay. And I just have to let you know that if you come back, you will be arrested for trespassing. Oh. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi So I am from the mosque, inshallah. And um, I was forbidden by Osman from praying inside. So those guys here are the, are, are Osman's thugs. They're the thugs. <laughs> Look what they do. <laughs> he, said, he said they're the thugs and they start flexing. <laughs> it's just, you can't write this thing. Yeah. Don't make it up. Come on, man. That's crazy. Yeah, they're like uh, the right hand of us, man. They're slaves of us, man. Uh, you guys for forbidden to pray. Forbidden. Hmm? You, stay over there. you can't go in this private property. Yeah. Uh, you're on, on my way, brother. Just move, please. You can't come in here. Move from my way, brother. You're blocking the alley. You're blocking the alley. This is Osman's wife. See? They told her to leave. Subhanallah. Wallahi. <laughs> See, they told her not to get in. They told her to leave. Subhanallah. Oh, that's his wife? His yeah, wife? the wife is in the white car. Is it like, is it like a, okay, it's uh, like yeah, a mini, minivan? Is yeah. There? Yeah, okay. So that's his wife there in the minivan, guys. And Osman's minions are telling her to go back because they don't want her to catch oh. any, any, any scandalous stuff. Which wife is it, you think? The it's, first one. Oh, it's the first one? Yeah, okay, the okay. First one. The first one. All right. Yeah, that's what they're saying. Which wife? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's the, the, first fir the first wife. Yeah. Obviously, the first one, the one that will be in public, you guys. Yeah. It's not going to be Abad Nan's wife. Yeah, yeah. The other one's in the basement. This, <laughs> this the one's place. allowed to be in public, so they don't want her to hear of the commotion of someone else talking about another wife and all that. So they've he sent his minions to drive her away. If if you play it, you'll they'll see you'll see they'll tell her to go away. They told her to leave. <laughs> Subhanallah, wallahi. <laughs> see, they told her not to get in. They told her to leave. Subhanallah. Yes, this is Osman's first wife. She knows that her husband did something wrong. That's why they told her to leave. Sheikh Gucci forbid me from praying. Okay. So he called him Sheikh Gucci. Uh, why did he call him that? Well, we're going to see. But. Yeah, this is where the, 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 the shoes come in, you guys. <laughs> yeah, now you guys are going to see the connection with the shoes. So okay. uh, then went back because you're not allowed in the mosque. And he went to online to keep his grievances, keep airing them out. And he started calling him Sheikh Gucci. Yeah. Um, he's calling him al <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, so he's um, really insulting him. Uh, so let's go. Let's go. 
praying. Sure, Gucci. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a okay, good word. forbid me from I'm praying. Is it haram to call him uh, Sheikh Gucci? Sheikh <laughs> yeah, Louis Vuitton. Okay, look, I'm, I'm, guys, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to make fun. Shoes. No, guys. Look. Anyone here no shoes? Anyone here no fashion and no shoes? Yeah, you see. Check he, it out. So he looked at his shoes about then, and they were Gucci shoes apparently. I don't know what Gucci shoes look like, but that's why he called him Chef Gucci because he has Gucci shoes. Who knows? Who knows uh, shoes and fashion? Can you guys let us know like prices and like what kind of how much is he spending on his shoes? <laughs> like yeah. where's his dawa money going to? Is the dawa money going to his Gucci shoes? Field Day says yes. Chanel, but, they're saying Chanel. Yep. Uh, um, Pinda Cass says yep. They're Gucci. Do you know how much they are? Do you know how much they oh, are? Oh, these are guys? those are Louis Vuitton. Someone says they're Louis Vuitton. Oh yeah, that is like LV. Yeah, LV. Um, oh, he got it wrong. Yeah. I don't know brands. I, I didn't grow up like in that kind of privilege. <laughs> okay, we're getting hundred percent Louis Vuitton between eight hundred and seventeen hundred. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So these are Louis what, Vuitton. Dollars? Okay. Okay yeah uh oh, wow. 990 dollars so whoa it, so i don't know what you think but i don't think those shoes go with... oh they're saying they're fake are they fake <laughs> <laughs> okay let they... me let me another scandal that you guys can tell <laughs> you guys can tell are there more pictures of uh... Uh, yeah um okay. it's a still picture so let him um let it play uh, so that it is more it's like like this yeah this one or we have another yeah, yeah. We, it, it comes again so. okay okay that'd be another scandal if he's got that's fake... more that's more of a close-up <laughs> so um is gucci shoes do they go with a um, jilbab i don't think they do uh, no you can't wear gucci uh, or, or louis vuitton with jilbab <laughs> so they're louis vuitton loafers <laughs> okay correct? okay okay you can get those at goodwill <laughs> they're about 1500 wow yeah they look fake okay wow. so it's one thing to like wear like Louis Vuitton as a sheikh, but another it's another thing to wear fake but ones. Why would you? Why is he trying to flex like that? He's trying to say, he's trying to show off. Even if it's fake, like it's not a good look to wear fake brands. Yeah, there's um, other more, right? Yeah, there's more. Okay, so a thousand dollars for for a pair of shoes, and telling people about Islam wearing the most expensive shoes. Oh, uh, sister Arabic, you seem like oh the 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 scarf. Uh, okay. Yeah, the scarf is another um. We one need our fashion that, people. That Abu Adnan discovered apparently it's a Burberry, and it's also around around seven hundred dollars. Okay. So he's trying to say that he's Islam wasting Dawa money. All right. Let's I'm see. wearing the most expensive shoes. Oh, uh, sister Arabic, you seem like you're you're good in brands. How much how much this uh scarf uh scarf uh. uh tag what's what's the tag on it? he's thinking like in arabic but he's speaking tag. in english yeah. he's thinking in arabic but speaking english it's not coming out clearly he's saying you're good in brands what's the price tag well, how much does this cost this i thought scarf? he said i thought he said you're good in brains i thought oh yeah because he thinks she's a half brain uh, <laughs> and there was a really silly woman before her which i which was on his live uh, i agree she was half brain she was like who are we talking about again and he's like we're talking about off man woman and he, and he took her off the life <laughs> and then this one he was like here you have good brains okay we have scarf from burberry 500 euros i have it someone said they have it oh, okay they have, have it. one okay oh, oh someone's saying 900 euros and i have the same one for my wife he says oh you guys are wow. di distinguished people watching us oh wow <laughs> how come we did yeah you might need to get me one <laughs> yeah yeah i will have that you guys are gonna make me have to step it up but <laughs> <laughs> i don't have one i'm gonna have to get some burberry scars for you <laughs> get me a fake one though give me the rest for um to save for later yeah look stuff the other stuff i want to buy yeah we're just joking guys just joking um so all right is there, there more more fashion from him yeah more okay. fashion yeah. Right. what's the price 500 I think 500 to 700. Really? It's, uh, it's, uh, it's Burberry. It's not like not LV. LV should be over a thousand, but this is Burberry, like 500 to 700. 500, uh, I mean, uh, Burberry is cheaper than LV? Oh, yeah, like half price or more. So we I bought on just he's just like me. We don't know anything about these brands. What's more expensive? What's less expensive? We're just like uh. I'm like him. I don't, I don't know either. <laughs> to me, it's just fabric. <laughs> you know now how much he so he's a collector then. This is an act for women. Men does not show off. So they're acting like like women with all respect to women. With our he just insults women. He's like with my respect to women. 
yeah. it's your problem. <laughs> Sound like a full brain one. How much is this thing? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I, they always, they always insult each other with the woman thing. Oh, you're a woman. Uh, Caleb said he just googled it. Five hundred dollar scarf. That's too much you guys, uh, for a scarf. Like, well, really? some people are saying that they. Well, maybe they have. Uh, anyway, well, yeah. So. All right, let, let's let's see. Let's see what else we got. Like literally, like he's acting like a woman. It's a fem feminist thing. For me, like this, it's a no. I do have some. I don't wear them. I, 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 I feel ashamed to have them, to be honest with you. If you notice, even I have a Puma, I I, I, I lock, I, I put like a, a tag on it. I'll put like a tape on it because I don't want to show off brands. Three years ago, he couldn't afford the Walmart shoes. He's spending all his money. Oh, interesting. So uh -huh. if you guys don't know, he used to be one of Uthman's students. So he's saying three years ago, he was wearing Walmart shoes. Oh, that's interesting because Uthman, he usually says that he doesn't take any money from Dawa or any money from YouTube or anything like that. But his student here is actually saying, no, actually, he was only wearing Walmart shoes a couple, three years ago. Now that he's got like a million subscribers, he's getting big in the Dawa world. They're inviting him to like UK, Australia, Indonesia, wherever else they're inviting him. Now he's getting all this money. So for people who are not from America, how much is uh, Walmart shoes? Walmart shoes, uh, he's just trying to say like these are probably like, like a cheap brand, like in comparison, like whatever your average price is, that's what you're thinking in terms of the shoes like average price uh, you know sneakers or whatever by the way I'd, even with the burberry expensive scarf like 20 bucks 30 bucks something like that um oh, yes. sorry for the photo even with the burberry scarf it doesn't make him look good because he's got a blue cap and um he's got the jilbab you know the the muslim jilbab it's blue and then he's got the burberry scarf just around it not very well and his hands, he's, he's eating like all this oily stuff. I'm pretty sure it's Indian food or Pakistani food with the Burberry scarf. It's going to like catch the smell and probably catch some stains. It doesn't look, it doesn't make him look good. So all with all the expense, what, do you agree or? Yeah, he, he can't uh, start. Nothing matches anything. And if you're wearing something expensive like that, don't get, he's eating with his hands, which is cultural, which uh, it's fine. But if you're wearing something expensive, you're going to eat with your hands, all this oily stuff. We're getting zero sense of fashion, no fa sense of fashion. He looks silly. Yeah, I think he's just trying to, like, hey, I'm wearing uh, like a blue top. I'm going to wear a blue hat. And I don't know where the most expensive scarf I have. I don't wear the most expensive shoes cap? I have. Doesn't matter if they match or not. I'm just going to wear it. With a blue cap? <laughs> and the blue, he looks like baseball ca baseball cap, correct? Yeah. With a baseball cap with Burberry scarf, really? Um. <laughs> The look is Burberry, the smell is curry. <laughs> <laughs> Berber curry, yeah. I mean oh, oh man. Zero drip. Yeah. 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 It, it doesn't it doesn't fit it. It does it does it's not giving me the sense of you know sophistication that he's going for after all that money. Someone said it's wild to me that Uthman can get a single wife, let alone two. Um a lot of times mm -hmm. in Islam it just comes down to the money. That's what it comes down to, really, because as you guys can see, they talk on the phone for an hour and they get married. Like, so that's really what it comes down to in Islam. It's not really about, like, you know, any godliness or, like, <laughs> whatever. I mean, godliness, the man calls people morons and, where's he? I come get your wife from my house. And yeah, um, I think it's probably money because um, Abu Adnan will tell you later, that man drives a Tesla. He's got all this money. He's taking all the dawah money. So if you're a woman with no character... You wanna yeah. you want some of that money? You wanna drive in a Tesla? You want someone who's high in the community? Maybe status? I don't know. But even then, he's it's somewhat obnoxious, like off man. All right, it's a lot. On Burberry's, Louis Vuitton. What else? There's two kind of shoes and a Burberry. Now we have almost like three thousand dollars in in brands. We're trying to show people about us, man, or what he's looking. He's looking for a clout. He's looking for fame. There's not Sheikh Osman, Sheikh Louis Vuitton, or Sheikh Berberi. I think Sheikh Berberi is better. Which one do you guys think is better? Sheikh uh, Louis Vuitton or Sheikh Berberi? I like Sheikh Gucci. Gucci? Yeah, I like Sheikh Gucci. What do you guys think? What mean, do you guys think? You guys, you think that we are the ones that come up with these names a lot of the times? It's the Muslims. <laughs> <laughs> Muslims come up with the best insults up front for each other. They come up with the best insults for each other. Because it's like something that they just they just do. They just, it's just part of their nature. 
lots of um, people yeah, like, Gucci. like Gucci. Oh, okay. And we got a few. Someone said Sheikh Walmart. <laughs> <laughs> Sheikh Bargain Hunter. <laughs> Sheikh Barbary, more like Sheikh Bar- um, Bar- yeah. Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> Sheikh Goodwill, um, Gucci for the win. Okay, okay. Yeah. Sheikh Fuchi. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Ibn Ibn Sheikh Ibn Gucci. <laughs> oh boy! All right, let's go. Sheikh Berberi. Do you have another income that is paying for all of this? He doesn't own a Ferrari yet, but he will. On this pace, and nobody's stopping him. He will have a Ferrari. He will own a Ferrari soon. This man is gonna get. He likes Teslas now. He it, it started with Tesla and then gonna get a Ferrari soon. Oh, started with a Tesla and I was gonna get a Ferrari. So you start with Tesla. That's where you start. <laughs> well, if you're, you're getting that that Dawa money. I guess. I guess so. That's not where you start. Let's play this for. Uh, this is Abu Anan to Osman. After the intellectual decimation, discombobulation. Yes, has been done. You've been disheveled. You've been disappointed. You've been discombobulated. You have been intellectually decapitated. Oh. You're done. You're done. Osman is done. No. <laughs> so what would you like to say to Abu Adnan? Abu Adnan, what you're disgusted in about Ibn Ketchup, Ibn Footnote, Ibn Zina, what you're disgusted about in him, that is actually Islam. That's Islam that you're disgusted at without realizing it. You're disgusted at your own Prophet Muhammad and your own sin. So you, Abu Adnan, need to repent, leave Islam. You don't have a justification to be upset over those things if you remain a Muslim. So turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Then you say, I need my right, I need my right. The Lord Jesus Christ gives you your right. In fact, he says that vengeance is his. So vengeance is the Lord's and... That is uh, my message to Abu Anan and to all the Muslims, repent and come to Lord Jesus Christ. You may as well become a Christian now, Abu Anan, because you know you got you know he got the Christian evangelist treatment. If they go to mosque or if they go anywhere to try and evangelize, they get rushed out, pushed out, kicked, out, kicked out, banned, yeah. have it, the police be called on them. You already have all that. You already get the persecution. You may as well get the reward for it. Come to the Lord Jesus Christ. And at least you'd be persecuted for righteousness rather than be persecuted for being, um, sorry, a man whose dignity has been spilt on the on the ground and had his had his honor and his wife taken. Yes. So uh, who's the potato? Who is the potato? Uh, all of them are. I all guess. of them. We're going to, should we verify them? Verify them as so potatoes? So Abadnan, until you come to the Lord and Uthman and Mim Hijab, and Muhammad, the prophet. Yes. What are they? They are potatoes, officially. Thank you. Potato. 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 Ah, uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So they are officially potatoes now, knighted as potatoes, and there you go. It's official now. <laughs> all right so congratulations congratulations you guys muslim potatoes but you can repent and you can become a child of god that's our hope for them that's our hope for all of the non-christians who are watching this that you guys would come to lord jesus christ and we want to thank you guys once again for being here with us thank you guys for all of your love your support all of your prayers we thank you guys for keeping us in your prayers and that